Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and my own personal views on the projects discussed on the channel. So the project we're looking at right now is going to be Bot Suite. Uh, it says here generating returns for crypto is tough enough for traders but with Bot Suite it's never been easier. BotSuite works 24-7 to squeeze every last penny from the crypto markets for you. Gain exclusive access to a complete set of the most advanced algorithms with bots tokens. So you can see we've got some links up here in the navigation bar, the tokenomics, the roadmap team, light paper, and some socials here including a medium link as well. And then your connect wallet link. So you can see prominently displayed is the pre-sale ticker or timer. And you can see that it ends in 11 days. And uh, for one bot, it's going to cost you 0 0.007 BNB with a 300,000 max supply, which if you think about it, man, 300,000, that's a low supply, um, you know, for, you know, for a token. So, but anyway, um, that's not a bad thing. You know? um, it, can, it tells you even here, there's 100,000 burnt, 100,000 locked, pre-sub price, listing price. So you're getting a significant discount between the pre-sub price and the listing price as well. So if you do click on the pre-sale button, it'll take you over here. Now, this is my personal opinion, you know, because, you know, I've had some various experiences, you know, in crypto. And if it's me doing this, you know, I'm going to make sure that I have a separate wallet for this particular uh, pre-sale. Um, that way, because setting up a completely separate wallet means that I'm not going to be exposing any of my other assets to a site that is private and that I have no idea, you know, about because I've never utilized that site before. Now, understand, um, it's not me saying anything negative about, you know, bot suite. Not saying that at all. I'm just saying, you know, in terms of my own opinion and my own, you know, experiences and my own practices, that's what I consider to be best practice. You know, so, I mean, you take it, you know, for whatever you will, as far as, you know, what I'm saying here, but that's just what I would do if it's me engaging with it, okay? So, with that said, you can also see, you know, contribution, obviously not going to show you anything because I haven't connected the wallet, um, pool shares, and then max contribution is going to be 5 BNB, okay? Um, so, that's all I'm going to say in regards to the bots pre-sale, you know, again, you got a little over 11 11 days, 11 days, 13 hours, you know, to go ahead and engage with that. If that is something that you so choose to do. Um, bots going to be listed on, on PancakeSwap, you know, so you see that information there. Um, and then this information here is just basically, you know, talking about how there's a lot of stuff that's happened, you know, in crypto period, you know, whether we're talking about the BSC or, or some other network, you know, but there's been a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, and so it kind of gives you the precursor, you know, to why did they go ahead and you know, create this project? You know, so um, here in the first part, it's talking about how you know, new to the crypto markets, the exchanges can be a brutal and deadly place. Yes, absolutely. Or even tough for veteran traders. Traders, yes, because even if you know what you're doing, you can still get taken. There's a lot of no. There, there's basically a no rules, you know, nature, you know, in crypto. I absolutely agree with that. And you can certainly. There's always the potential to, to lose whatever money you put into any project. So. Even worse, you know, a lot of the scammers, you know, in terms of the amount of money they took in 2021 alone. Um, and so that's why they created Bot Suite. And so it really just gives you a fighting chance, you know, in terms of, you know, engaging with projects, you know, in crypto. So that's the gist of that. Bot Suite's going to be working for you and it gives you, you know, all the different uh, platforms, you know, where people go ahead and trade on, uh, you know, where you can actually use or maybe be able to use Bot Suite. Then it gives you the tokenomics and the white paper. So we do have the white paper up. And I really, it's just more for me to go ahead and let you know that there's the white paper. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at it. But I mean, there's some, there's some good information in the white paper for sure um, that, that gives you, you know, greater insight you know, into this particular project should you be someone interested uh, in this project. As far as the roadmap, um, they've got a lot of different phases here. I am not really a fan of how this roadmap is written up just because, you know, typically you see like action steps and I don't know, it's just the, the way it's written up is just kind of odd to me. So I'm just highlighting that they do have a roadmap, you know, but I'm not going to go through it um, just because it's a little different, you know, the way this written up. And so I'll leave that to you to take a look at it. As far as the team is concerned, you know, I don't consider the character doxing to be, you know, doxing. And that's just my take on it. Um, you guys have heard me say that before if you've seen some of my other videos. They do have titles associated with each of these people, but they don't have 
uh, many profiles really you know I'd like more information in terms of you know who each of these individuals is four of the six have LinkedIn profiles associated you know you can see that here 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 and here the program is not so so yeah you know that's about it that's all I'm going to say there um, they do have an audit uh, the audit was done through tech audit so you can see that there they did pass the audit um, all um, you know there, there weren't even any low severity issues you know as far as the audit is concerned but you know again this is just one audit and um, as you know I think having an audit is a strong signal you know for a project it doesn't guarantee anything you know but I think a stronger signal would be to go ahead and have multiple audits I've seen projects that you know have three and four audits just to make sure they've done their due diligence to ensure that the community or any potential investors that they have made sure to invest the money to ensure that there is no or little to no possibility of bugs being in their code and that is it's a safe contract so so yeah um, I think it's good that they've got an audit but you know my feeling about any project is that the more audits you get the better um, at minimum two I think you know is something that needs to really be the new standard in crypto um, you know, because I think, you know, we've seen enough shenanigans with somebody getting one audit and then we're seeing rugging and scamming. Um, I think that when you get into the territory of two, three, and four audits on a project, um, I think that, you know, the, the likeliness of that taking place, no guarantees, of course, you know, it just becomes lower and lower. So, so yeah, that, that's, that's really all I'm going to say there. You know, um, I've, I've already really kind of given my feedback in regards to, you know, just the team and what I think needs to be happening there in terms of, you know, um, you know, the way they've laid out the team information, um, you know, what I've, I've given my spiel, you know, on the pre-sale and just how I kind of engage, you know, with, uh, with private site wallets and so forth. Um, you know, and then with the roadmap, you know, what I think they, they it probably adds more specifics in terms of, you know, what are the action steps here in terms of the roadmap. But again, all my own personal opinion of you on in terms of, you know, what I've gone through regarding um, bot speed. I do think conceptually the idea is cool. You know, um, I think the, the idea that they want to give people a fighting chance to, to just be able to do better, you know, in crypto, I think is, is, is something, you know, um, that, 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 that sounds good to me. Um, you know, but people may feel differently about that. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of times when you look at projects, you know, it's really about, you know, you take a look at it and there are things that either lean you into the project more or they, you know, move you away from it more, you know. And so um, there are things that I see here that, that, that potentially are positive signals and there are things that I see here that I think, you know, hey, not so crazy about that. Um, but with that said, if you guys like the content that I am releasing on the channel, by all means, please subscribe and, you know, turn on notifications, click on the notification, sorry, click on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of new content that I'm releasing on the channel. I'll go ahead and I'll make sure to leave the links in the description for you to engage with. And with that said, you guys enjoy the day.